Mohammed Abdul came up, the last meeting we had on Telegram, on the EGB platform, you told us you have not even the time of disbursement. You said you won't know the amount to be disbursed to us, the palliative. And now you are coming again yesterday evening, telling us and that story that we don't even know when the money will come. That we should be patient a little while. So these are contradictory uh, statements you have made, and we are not happy with you people. We are not happy at all. Nigerians are not happy with your behavior. Your behaviors have been so suspecting. So, so suspecting. We are not happy, and so we this we, we demand disbursement of this grant between now and Friday. And if there's no disbursement, please, we are going to take the bull by the horn. And I pray the Lord will help us so as to seek disbursement between now and Friday. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. I just wish that uh, AGPN should, will come and clarify why they need this proof of payment. You know, most people are attacking AGPN and saying that they are cause of the problem. Mind you, we have been staying in this grand community for years. Nothing has been happening. So for me, it's good we don't take side and it's good we don't hastily jump into conclusion. We need to attest from them why they need that proof of payment. What is happening? We might tell them to drop the proof of payment. After that, we'll start this regurgitating things of today come today come tomorrow this proof of payment might be an element of problem solving because if you listen to ken's speech he is not saying that disbursement is near in future if you listen to ken's speech disbursement is at mercy of time and anybody then if you listen to abdul talk abdul is a man that is kind of trying to do things with urgency trying to see if we can get a resolute uh, uh, solution to this conflict at the nearest time so i don't know why they need this proof of payment but what i urge is for us to just know their reason and know why before we conclude and judge let's listen this is Comrade Joe coming again this morning, 22nd day of May. Uh, I've come to respond to uh, a write up this morning by Comrade Dahoud and also to respond to the VN made by Comrade Abdul and uh, Pastor Mopiton yesterday. Now, I want us to please pay attention, Nigerians. Yesterday, Comrade Abdul came up with Pastor Amkriton to tell Nigerians that we should be expectant, that we should not agitate, uh, so that it will end our disbursement. And the father said we should be more patient, that we should not worry, that we should be expecting our disbursement. Now, this morning, being Wednesday, our dear brother, uh, that would came up to the right of on their page, EGPJ Telegram page, and to tell us that everyone should bring out their proof of payment. Now, payments to uh, Apostle Ken, uh, the EGPJN and their families, payments to Sangari Wealth, TTT, and their families. Now, these are two conflicting and contradicting matters which has given a pain is not contradicting no is not conflicting no because everything revolves around grant and disbursement of grant you know what i'm saying is at the end now we'll say oh we have made another mistake everybody is towing towards one direction castigating agpm for this bold move they want to take my own is let they are the one in the meeting let us know the reason why what we should be saying now is not that they should stop what should we say now why are they saying this because this grant has stayed too long and there is no hope of it coming out if this can resolve the issue can't we allow it now 
Ken Camp have now come and told us that the disbursement is this month and they are giving us 24th of this month. Why are they giving us dates now? Because AGPN have decided to take action. So what I'm saying now in a, in a nutshell is that they are the one in the meeting. They know the conflict they are facing. Let us ask them why. Instead of telling them and agitating for them to stop. Because for me, if bringing up proof of payment can nail somebody, let them nail somebody than keeping the masses waiting. And mind you, all these people coming to say the voice note, all these people come, Rejo, uh, Abapiton, all of them are corrupt. All of them have eaten money. All of them have consumed money from UAAG. All of them. So you, so, you see the standpoint, all of them are not innocent. So, when they are coming to, uh, to sensitize the masses, masses, beneficiaries, subscribers, whatever, bear it in mind that all these people have soiled their hand. So, trying to stop this proof of payment is also trying to save their head. And um, that's really made me to see that AGPGN are the one causing confusion and disharmony in the grant community. Somebody came up yesterday to appeal to Nigerians to be patient for them for this person to, to take place. Same people, same group of people coming out again this morning to tell Nigerians that we should bring our proof of payment and send them to the WhatsApp numbers that are given in the in, in the write-up. Good. You see it. If if you analyze this thing critically, according to our bull statement day for yesterday, he was saying that nobody has told anybody to pay money and nobody and they were warned. They should not collect or extort the masses. For him to say bring up proof of payment, it means that probably they want to resolve something. Because what is online is that nobody should have collected money and can collected money. So we should not hastily conclude. These people that are giving this V note, sensitizing the masses not to submit, are saving their head. Because all of them, at one point or the other, or, or the other, exploited the masses, exploited the beneficiaries, exploited the subscribers. So we should analyze, we should synthesize before we make our judgment. I begin to see, like I said in the last thing I did, I told Nigerians that Dawood himself is a Confucianist. Is the one which I know that's brought confusion into AGPGN. He has not ever made any progress in regard to disbursement. What we are after now is not proof of payment. To counter what he said, that would have made a lot of contribution to positive that now because so me I'm not a fan on any of anybody. That would they say it's controversial. Yes. On short, all of them are criminals. That is number one. All of them have extorted the masses. What we just need is disbursement. Now, none of them is innocent. Even Abdu. Why is he waiting now to ask proof of payment? All the money they paid for verification. You want to tell me that I did not have a share in it? All of them have stolen our money. All of them are eating our money. What we need is disbursement. But what I want to say is that the all star that hold was a person that told us that this money they are calling palliative is not palliative. It's more than four hundred. Is more than forty eight trillion. Who said that? It was Dawood. It was Dawood that said that this money they are going to disburse was gotten by AGPN, not UAAG. It was Dawood that came and said that. If this money is not disbursed, he will take action. Everybody stay panicking. It was Dawood that is acting as a voice to antagonize these people, to make them to be at their toll. So, saying that Dawood have not caused any positive development to disbursement is a fallacy because it's Dawood that is like, uh, let's say, is a is a very bad light to them as in is a is a old na shit way way day for their annuals where they push them to react what we after now is a this 
disbursement of this grant. I'm going to say this this morning that we are going to hold the AGPGL responsible for any form of failure on disbursement. You have come to us, you have shown to us that UAG has the money and Apostle Ken is the one in charge. You came up to us not quite long to tell us again that yes, you, are, you, were, you were deceived. We are not after your deception. We are coming, we are, the Nigerians will come after you. We are coming after you. How will you go after Abdu when it was Ken? that you paid money to you subscribe to ken we should we should analyze things critically oh the wave is going now the wave ken is about going scot free and ken is one that embezzled money and ken is one that told us that there is money in the first instance so we should dear subscribers please let us think wisely and make wise decision let us not make mistake and ken will come and deceive us and go scot free Ever since you have been in this organization, AGPJ Dawood, what progress have you made? You have just come to create nuisance in the grant ecosystem. You came with the, you came with the last time, you were telling us that uh, nobody is defending AGPJ, talking about defense me mechanism. Is it what we are after now, or disbursement? Your two brothers came up yesterday to, to tell us that we should be patient enough for the progress is, 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 is ongoing and you are coming up again this morning to contradict what they have said. I can see that ATPGN, they are a group of people that they don't know where they are going to. And so we have, we, we have given UAG and ATPGN to Friday. If nothing happens, between now and Friday, we are going to take some steps. I'm sure that Nigerians will go after you. Forget this man. Forget this man. They are giving till Friday, which is 24th. Forget them. They blab. 24th is tomorrow. Who shall see? They all blab. They say what they cannot fulfill. You want to go and attack Ken and uh, AGPN on Friday with what means? Bring proof of payment you don't want to. Now you want to add. You, have you seen how they, they divert issues to tell you that they are not in, they are not, they are, all of them are guilty. Bring proof of payment. Okay, bring proof of payment. If proof of payment will vindicate some things and bring out the money, fine. So it's now on Friday you want to go and attack. Man, these people. Because we have not seen any, any progress you have made so far. Comrade Abdul came up, the last meeting we had on Telegram, on the HGH Bank platform, you told us you have known even the time of disbursement. You said you won't know the amount to be disbursed to us, the palliative. And now you are coming again yesterday evening, telling us and that story that we don't even know when the money will come. That we should be patient a little while. So these are contradictory uh, statements you have made and we are not happy with you people. We are not happy at all. Nigerians are not happy with your behavior. Your behaviors have been so suspecting. So, so, suspecting. We are not happy. And so we, dis, we, we demand disbursement of this grant between now and Friday. And if there's no disbursement, please, we are going to take the bull by the home. And I pray the Lord will help us so as to seek disbursement between now and Friday. Nigerians, God bless you. Thank you.